What is going on guys? Nips here bringing you our UCL Season 2 Draft Analysis. Basically my mindset and my ideas and thoughts for why I drafted Pokemon that I drafted. So let's hop right into the bad boy. That is my UCL Draft right now. Now overall I'm pretty happy with my draft. I'm not too upset. I'm not too like too many regrets. I have some but I'll get to those when I get there. So first of all, my Mega being Mega Alakazam. So for this draft I basically wanted to go for... If I was going for an offensive mon, I want it to be as fast as possible, with the most utility as possible, and that can hurt really hard. And with Mega Zam, I get Trace, I get the hardest hitting mon with 175 special attack, I think one of the most hardest hitting mons, and the fastest mon tied with Mega Aerodactyl, which I don't think anybody has drafted as, um, as their Mega. So even, uh, no matter what, Zam is outspeeding things that aren't choice scarfed, there's no other Zam besides priority. I love Zam, I love his move sets. I love the idea of Trace Mind Games, and I just love having the fastest mod in the whole entire league that could kill things in one hit, uh, if not guaranteed to it's just about everything in the tier. Also, I really like the idea of this being thing, this guy being so fast that basically I'm gonna say seven to eight times out of ten, I can run modest Zam and not worry about uh, being out spent by things after I Mega Evolve. When I before Mega Evolve, I gotta make sure that it's worth going into modest nature. But like 110 base mon to probably outspeed a 120 modest mon. So I gotta make sure I could uh, do my do my calculations and make sure Mega Zam is outspeeding everything that I want to outspeed and run that modest nature if able to. <laughs> Excuse me. So with that being said, our next mon, Weavile. Now Weavile, phenomenal mon. Like you get stab knockoff, you get stab ice crash, stab ice sharp priority, fake out shenanigans. Uh. Uh, the be the a good enough move uh, move pool to take out everything. If I want to kill fairs or a poison jab, I want to take out steel or heavy mods to go low kick. Uh, Ice crash is self explanatory. Same with ice shard and knock off as well, folks. Weavile is my first pick overall for the reason in and of itself as Weavile. It just kills everything in just about two two hits as well. Even if you wall out a free knock off stab, knock off your item, it's gonna do a lot of damage regardless of what kind of Pokemon you are. So we have Weavile. Being another fast, very fast mod, I can even run adamant at times if the uh, if the uh, math of, of the team allows me to do so. And uh, oh man, just seeing Weave on the GBA and the UCL last season, like this mod was franchised by um, I don't know if it's it franchised anymore, but Mulvone franchised this mod for a reason. It led the league in, in the kills. It was definitely in the top three kills in the GBA. And I'm pretty sure it's going to carry over to the UCL as well. So, Weavile is on the squad. Yeah, he's with the rocks. Yeah, he's with the priority in the form of steel and fighting priority. And, um, but, like, the thing is, Weavile, yeah, he has some flaws. But which Pokemon doesn't have flaws? And having Weavile on the squad, I'd rather have Weavile on my side than to worry about it. There's a lot of mods. Like, oh, you see, like, a lot of bulky mods. Oh, you like, oh, you got Latias. You got, um, uh, you got Landos. You got, uh... Caillou Rems, you got a Caillou Rem Black on Joey's team. You have uh, uh, even Ferrothorn on a low kick, a blow 50 would kill it. So I guess you gotta wear it down a little bit. Like, there's plenty of mods in the OU tier that we've like to check out and then, um, I should say, uh, I should say, um, check in general. Just, it, Weavile is great, dude. Like, Weavile is basically self explanatory. Then I have Umbreon. Why do I have Umbreon? Well, to be honest, it's, it's not my regret. Umbreon's not my regret. My regret is a little bit on Hippowdon, but we'll get to that. But Umbreon is a great uh, baton passer, wish passer, cleric, could take physical and special attacks. It only has two this is in the form of fighting, uh, three, fighting bug and fairy. Uh, and you, no matter what, I don't think you kill an Umbreon in one hit. So regardless, I'm gonna get something, I'm gonna get some kind of, um, some kind of a uh, attack off or some kind of switch or some kind of something with, uh, with Umbreon. Biggest thing about Umbreon, Pursuit Traps, and that's really good in a, in, a, in a draft format, in my opinion. Pursuit Trapping is very much uh, useful, more useful, in my opinion, in draft format, because you can see the teams ahead of time, than it is in regular UU play or OU play, whatever. Uh, also, another note about Umbreon, besides Pursuit Trap and being a Cleric, I also love Foul Play. So if someone wants to set up on me, think I'm fodder, go Sword Dance, go Dragon Dance, I go Foul Play, and you're taking at least half your HP. And if you're a bulky, uh, your physical attack or the high attacks at the beginning with foul play is gonna hurt you really, really bad. If I'm gonna be annoying, I can toxic stall. If I want to be cheeky, I can baton pass, curse with white herb and whatnot. I can do a lot of things with Umbreon. Also, one thing I really like if I protect a Will-O-Wisp, a T-Wave, a Toxic, or something. 
I can switch to the Umbreon. Synchronize, put that on you as well. So it's gonna make you think twice about using a status move while Umbreon's on my squad. I can poison you, burn you, paralyze you, whatever it may be. And if I'm lucky enough to get paralyzed or whatnot, I can heal well myself as you stick with this status condition on your own mon. Or my opponent's mon, I should say. So having Umbreon on my squad, I like a lot. I like Umbreon a lot. And then we get Hippowdon. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. I like Hippowdon. I like Stealth Rocks on him. I like Whirlwind. I like Phasing. I like EQ. I like Ice Fang. I like, uh... The shenanigans that Hippowdon can do. Uh, I like Sandstream. I like even Sand Force if I'm going against a Mega Titar or a, uh, I don't know, whatever it may be. The thing is, when I was drafted into the UU format, I don't know why I was afraid to go Tentacruel or Empoleon. I definitely had the chance to get either of them, and I, and I opted not to do that because I'm like, oh, uh, Grass. I don't want to have a Grass with this, but in all honesty, like, Empoleon is going to take, what, maybe a third at most from like a Grass Knot or a Giga Drain, and same with Tentacruel. So I don't know why I opted for Umbreon over one of those two. And Empoleon would have given me Defog and Stealth Rocks, a two for one deal right there. Tentacruel would have given me, would have given me Rapid Spin, that's fine because I have Stealth Rocks on Hippowdon. But um, I don't know why I was so scared of that Grass weakness. Like, I'm, like, I said in the, like I said in the UCO and during it was, it was live, like I don't think there's any mod that covers water, grass, ice, it was just all of it. I don't think there's any mod at all. The closest thing that comes to that is uh, is a uh, Rotom Heat, I believe, but he's weak to water, so I don't want to know what this is. And the same thing with Tentacruel. He was just he was just water. He was just ice, and then and then he's neutral to grass. Same with Empoleon. He resists water. He resists ice, and then there's grass. And then even uh, Gelsent resists water, ice, with the grass. So like I couldn't think of a model at the top of my head. Maybe you guys know, but I don't know why I was so scared of that. I used to cut on Napoleon or, or Tentacruel. It is what it is. I still love my core of uh, Hippodon, Umbreon, and Golbat. But we'll talk about Golbat when we get there. And then let's move on to my next Mon Drugalge. So like I said, guys, my strat was for this format besides winging it and having fun with it. If it was my turn to draft, if I couldn't get a, uh, if I wasn't going for a wall or a really fast, hard hitting Mon, I'm going for a wall breaker. Adaptability on Dragalge is just... No, there's no switching for this thing. There's none at all. And it has a lot of key resistance, which I love a lot. The, the Dragon Poison type is phenomenal. You resist fire, you resist water, you resist electricity, grass, um, poison, uh, neutral to fairy. It's only down to neutral to fairy. Well, actually, not really down to being a dragon type. Being neutral to fairy is pretty nice. Um... What you resist? You have a lot of key resistances. Uh, yeah, you're weak to Psychic, you're weak to Dragon, you're weak to Ground, you're weak to Ice, but like, my team can take it pretty well, can cover those weaknesses pretty well, uh, uh, for now. Well, in general, yeah, the team's done. The cover weakness is pretty well. I just like Adaptability of Dragalge, and I love, love, love another pet peeve of mine, I, a good pet peeve. I love Toxic Spikes. I love them. And use, if you see your opponent's team cannot uh, suck them back up with the Poison type mod or spin away, you kill the spinner or defog or whatever, Toxic Spikes can change games, folks. It really does. I just love having Toxic Spikes. If there is that one mod that could take an adaptability attack from Dragalge and I go with Toxic Spikes for free, that's huge. Turn one, get Toxic Spikes up, that's amazing, that's great. Jump a Joey, I get the Draco Media going on. Something's taking a lot of damage. Adaptability stab, it's like 2.25, I believe. Or damage boost because you have dragon type stab uh, if they're weak to it and then adaptability is uh, not extra boost so it's like 2.2 2.25 kind of math going on maybe wrong but if they're weak to it they're thinking about double and a little bit more damage because adaptability it's freaking huge dude nothing wants to switch into a wall breaking dragalge and like I said the bulk on this thing is phenomenal and that is why I do the Dragalge. Great move pool as well. If I want, it's another wall on my team. I could rock a uh, Dragalge Umbreon. Because he was just fighting as well. Being poison type. Poison versus fighting? I think so. Possibly. Maybe wrong. Go quote me on that. I think it does. But regardless, it's, an it's another potential wall. A wall breaker. Or just offensive presence with toxic spikes in general. I Like I say, guys. Whew, Dragalge spent all on. I learned the hard way versus Miguel on the GBA. This thing single-handedly cost me the game. Because I, I played pretty well against Dragal uh, Miguel, but... The Toxic Spikes, they don't want to switch, and because of that, I took extra damage, and that was that. So, Cruz Miguel for showing me the light about Dragalge. Then we got Chandler. Why Chandler? Uh, sub -com mindset. Could be a physical wall, it gets pain split, fast ghost, hits hard, resist ice, resist fairy. Um, which kind of had a little fairy problem on my team, but kind of he kind of cleaned it up a little bit for me. And just, uh, trick, switcheroo, whatever it may be, whatever I'm going to use, same thing basically. Flash fire, infiltrate, you're going to sub on me? Nah, I got a choice scarf. 
Uh, Shinzo coming in. All right, we're at speed you. Boom, I got choice victory gadget coming in. Oh, uh, 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 you going for a switch? Boom. Sub combine going on. Make you a little bulky. Like, Schindler, great mod. If I want to be really cheeky, I got Flash Fire, right? You get a fire Pokemon on your, t on your team, you get a fire, fire attack. Boom. Schindler comes in. Give me that boost. Shadow Ball, Energy Ball, Fire Blast. Perfect coverage is all I ever need on this bad boy. And let's put in the work. So, hence why I drifted Schindler, a great ghost mod. Give me a, a fairy and a fire resistance. And I needed that pretty desperately in my team. And, uh, Schindler, great ghost mod. Phenomenal. I love him. I'm actually really glad I got him. I'm really good. Like, my first six mods, I'm really good with what I got, yo. I'm really glad that I got those mods right there. And then next up, my last six mods. Um, how do I do this? How do I do this? How do I do this? Uh, team builder. Uh, here we go right here. Boom. Then we got my next six mods coming in hot and not this order, but you get the point. Where is my mouse? There it is. Do this. Boom. We got Magneton. So why Magneton? This is... Because I had the wheel, I had the 15th or the 16th pick. I think I had the 16th pick at this point. I was originally going to go, um, Golbat, Verizion. But I'm like, you know what? Verizion gives me another Fire Weakness, another Fire Weakness, another Ice Weakness, and another, um, Fly Weakness, which I didn't want. I, I didn't have a Fly Weakness at the time, but I didn't, know, I didn't want that. But I really wanted the Speed and the Lumber Swords and set on Cobalion, uh, Verizion. I really wanted it. But I'm like, you know what? That's really not good. That's really not good for me at all. I kind of want something I could take Ice and Fairy again as well, because I had Ice that's going on at this point. And, um... And that's something to, something to do with Fairies besides Dragon Ash, which really can't, and Poison Jab Weavile. So, you know what? Let me go Golbat Magneton. And I chose Magneton, and you guys are like, ah, oh, it's too Eevee Light uses. What is this? Why? Are you serious? What the hell just happened? Why, 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 why? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Why is this happening? Work off line. Great. Awesome. Phenomenal. Awesome, bro. Awesome. Thank you for that. Alrighty then. So, we have Magneton who can resist fairy, resist ice, and then, like I said in the UCL Live, that 70 base speed stat with the scarf is just enough to outspeed a lot of OU mods in general. And if I don't want to outspeed them, I could go Eevee Light. So I'm probably not going to do that analytic thing going on. I could, I could do that, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to go Eevee Light. I'm going to go like. I don't know. We'll see about that. Maybe I will go Eevee Light, but, um. Regardless, excuse me, the stab steal, a volt switcher, T bolt, base with 20 special attack, puts in a lot of work, a lot of damage, flash cannon, T bolt, traps in Mega Scizor, traps in uh, other steel types. I go hit a power fire, go out of those mons, or do a lot of damage to them while I can't do anything to me in return. Unless you have superpower scissor, so be it though. I think I'm gonna outspeed you, get the hit a power fire off, do a lot to you, and um. I, I don't know, man. I just love having a Steel Trapper and Analytic as well if I want to go in that route or that route and do a lot of damage. But by that time, covers the Ice and Fairy and even a little bit of a Steel Weakness on my team cover right now. So that's always nice. And then, uh, but what I was really happy about, I'm going to skip, skip Leafy on for now. Skip Leafy on for now, English. And then go to go back. I don't know how. I, when I got the 16th pick, I'm like, well, there goes the mod I wanted the most. There goes my Golbat. There goes my answer to fairs as well. There goes my Defogger. There goes my Bulk. There goes my EQ Immunity. There goes my, uh, 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 I said Defogger already. Yeah, there goes my Defogger. And I just really want a Golbat. And I'm surprised it went down to the 16th pick in the in the draft. I was so happy that I got, um, Golbat. Because that, that with Hippano, it's pretty nice. Yeah, I got a double ice with this going on. But, uh, I could go Golbat Umbreon. Uh, I could go Golbat, Dragal, just look at the ice with this going on, but it's a nice mod. I like it. It deals with fairies. Uh, it gives me the defog that I wanted. It has Roost, it has Brave Bird, and I love Super Function shenanigans. Uh, I could U-turn, you could Roost, but basically it's kind of standard. He's going to sit there, Wall, Roost, Defog, Brave Bird, U-turn, Toxic, Super Fang, whatever it may be that I want for the, excuse me, while the matchup that I'm doing. And I'm just really happy I got Golbat. I was just pretty pumped. Like, I didn't want to deal with, I didn't want to pick up Brave Yard for defog. I didn't want to go shift tree because that's another flying fire, ice, fairy, uh, bug, weakness. I don't want that. No, 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 no. I don't want that at all. I was so, so, so happy that I got Golbat over Braviary and shift tree and like, I don't want to rapid spinner either because it was basically Armaldo, Sand Slash, and uh, basically Kipout on clones, but much worse. Like, Sand Slash is the worst Kipout on. Armaldo's just dumpster. He could spin, oh boy. Set up rocks, oh boy. But so can my, um, so can my uh, hip out on. So I didn't go with that. He can't spin, but that's regardless. And then I have next up is my Rampardos. And uh, why do I go with Rampardos? I mean, it's not, it's not the order I went in, but I have Rampardos. Like I said, guys, if I'm going for speed or a bulky thing, I'm going for Wall Breaker. And Rampardos just 
does just that. Sheer Force, Rampardos, Rock Slide, Base 165 attack. There's not much. It's gonna take three quarters, if not dead, from a uh, from a stab Rock Slide from Rampardos, if not Stone Edge, if not Head Smash, if not. He has great. He has a great move pool as well. He gets Fire Punch. Thunder Punch, no Ice Punch, it's kind of weird, I guess I figured, like, you know what, we're not gonna give him Ice Punch, that's way too good, but he has Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, uh, Head Smash, Rock Slide, a great move pool, EQ, another offensive Rocky, if I don't want to use Rocks, uh, Stealth Rocks on a Powdog, I could put him on him, and, um, uh, instead of, uh, and save a move on him Powdog, but, I have Rocks on Rampardos, Wall Breaker, nothing is gonna take three quarters, or, 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 nothing's gonna take less than three quarters, I think, from a Stab Rock Slide, or a Head Smash, uh, or Fire Punch, Sheer Force, Life Orb Booster, like, this thing is a monster. Yeah, this beats that sucks, but, uh, that's alright. It's alright, I'll deal with that. Like, I can run Choice Scarf every now and then, but not times of 10, probably get bulky, and be speed invested. I don't know. Like I said, guys, I'm not going for speed or a wall, I'm going for a wall breaker, and there he is, Rampardos in the flesh to break all the friggin' walls, folks. So, like I said, watch out for this thing to get those detrimental kills, or do a lot of damage, a ton of damage to somebody that I really need to do a lot of damage to. And then my controversial pick, you guys know me, I love Kingler, I love Snippy Lips, Snippy Lips is a god, people don't understand, you just don't understand, if I get Snippy Lips set up, or if I want to just go for like shenanigans and do a lot of damage, Crab Hammer, Crit, like even when I'm burnt, you can go some my one video, even when I'm burnt, Crab Hammer is still gonna hurt a neutral mod or a Pokemon that's weak to water, like, if you resist it, yes, yeah, so be it, but if I get that crit, I have a high crit ratio, uh, it's doing a lot of damage no matter what. Kind of like a mini wall breaker. And if they get that agility off, man, oh man, you better prepare yourself, friends, for a uh, spanking. Because Kingler could put in a lot of work. Is he a first round NU below overall pick? No. But I want him because I'm Nips and I love Kingler and he's my boy. So I went with him. And uh, like I said, Kingler is my boy. You can't intimidate him. If you really want to go Sheer Force, Sheer Force Waterfall, I'm going to do a lot of damage. But, um... I kind of, I, I like to crap out my against with him. I, he's just my fun little pick for the UCL. We're going to see what he does for us. And like I said, guys, expect some surprises with Kingler on my squad. And then my least favorite pick overall is Sock. Um, this would have been Verizion, but you know what? Not, at the end of the world, I got Sock. He's pretty good at attack stat. Great move pool. He gets Ice Punch, Poison Jab, EQ, Close Combat. What more can you ask for in a bomb? He hits hard. He hits speed. things that one out speed. Mold Break, EQ, some Rotoms. Inner Focus, if, it, if you have the Mega Low Punch, try to flinch or whatever. If I want, it was 30, death 1 HP, Revenge Kill, something, you know. I mean, Sorky's whatever, dude. I, I, he has some other cool stuff. He can run, like, he has some cool moves. Some uh, other moves that can run, like, soft and get burnt. He has the Elemental Punches. Um, he has Knock Off. Pain spell if I want to like run a little weird bulky set. Rest uh rest uh rest talk I could do. He gets stone edge, super sub, you know, like there's some things I could do with him. There's some things I could do with my beautiful sock over here. So guys, that is my team in the UCL season two. I'm ready to go, folks. I hope you're ready for the Red Dragons to come to come in strong, hot, and ready to go. Because this is gonna be a better season. Yeah, we went nine and six, but I'm more than capable of doing better than that. I wanna be a playoff team, folks. I really do. But at the end of the day, this is, this is for fun. I'm not going to be as serious as, as I am in the past. I'm going to run some fun sets and make sure they try, uh, if I can make them work. Um, and yeah, folks, if you guys, you guys let me know if you were doing anything differently with my with my draft or um, something you don't like, some discrepancies. But overall, folks, I'm really happy. Oh, did I go over Leafeon? I didn't go over Leafeon. I didn't go over Leafeon. Leafeon, uh, real quick, grass type. I need a grass type. I don't think like, type I didn't have, I didn't have besides a fairy. And uh, pretty fast, could be a bulky wall as well. Great move set. And do this thing and put in some upsets, man. Swords into this bad boy. You better watch out. You better watch out. But overall, Leafeon, Grass Mon, any of the grass type, and there it is, folks. One of the last mods I could have chosen that was a good grass type. So, with that being said, enough, folks, that is my draft. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. As always, I am Nips. Love your faces. Have a great day. Enjoy your Sunday, and I will see you soon, my friends. Much love, and I'll catch you later.